everything. Welcome to Style with Trish. Today I am ecstatic about my guest. My guest is Latrice Pace. She is just the epitome of everything I speak of, everything that, that I love and how I want my life to be, living it out, leaving here empty. Stay with us, join us as we sit down with Lady Latrice Pace. Stay tuned. Every day a woman It's time to live your dreams. Nothing's gonna stop you now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Every day a woman rains. Every day a woman rains. Welcome to Style with Trish. Today on our show, we have the very special, very beautiful Latrice Pace. If you don't know her, you have been under a rock <laughs> because she comes from, she reigns for, as one of the wonderful uh, Pace sisters, as well as what I admire her most for, how you're able to balance um, being so many things and wearing so many hats. We'll break all of those down, but welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, I wanted to have you on here for a while because mm -hmm. you do so much. You are a singer, songwriter. I've, every single you put out, I purchased. Thank you. Um, you are an actress and we've yeah. seen you work with the likes of, of Tyler Perry, yes. even with singing, you sing with uh, Donald Lawrence mm -hmm. in the Tri-City. Um, what what else? Company. Yeah. yeah. That, Tree, uh, uh, Tracy Treats, yes. you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> what do you not do? <laughs> right. <laughs> but let's start with, with your family. We'll start there and then we'll break down okay. all the different hats that you wear. You come from, uh, are you one of the Pace yes. sisters? What was it like growing up Pace? Oh my goodness. I guess at the time you don't realize the weight <laughs> mm -hmm. of that name yeah. as a child or as a teenager. Mm -hmm. But um, as an adult, I have, not that I didn't appreciate it, but I've grown yes. to appreciate that name and realize that the name alone has has gotten me in places, but mm -hmm. God has kept me there. Yes. But um, it's it was wonderful. It was mm -hmm. crowded. Mm -hmm. um, there, there were times when, and I often tell people this, at being next to the baby mm -hmm. of so many great singers and preachers and teachers or whatever, mm -hmm. you kind of shy away from wanting to do what everybody else was right. doing. And that was me. Right. I wanted nothing to do with music, you know, really? and I was like, they're, yeah, I was like, they're doing it. And they're doing it really well. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want that pressure. Okay. So let me go teach some kids somewhere or something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but my daddy was like, no. But growing up pace, it was it was cool. Yeah. yeah. And it, and then also being a part of a, your you were a pastor's child. Yes. And so that could be bring on a whole different dynamic as well. Yes. So when did you when did you decide within yourself? Okay. Well, singing is. We already know it's naturally born, yeah. but when did you make the decision? Okay, this is an avenue that yeah. I need to visit. Well, again, my dad forced me because okay. he was like, no, this is a family ministry. Mm -hmm. You're going to sing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, fine. And when it started paying the bills, I was like, I guess so. Then. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, that's, right. that's when it kicked in because I was like. I'm, I'm, God is allowing me to sustain myself yeah. with this gift he has given me. So mm -hmm. it was like, okay, let me be responsible and appreciative of mm -hmm. it. And I just began doing it more and more. Mm -hmm. I, and you know, I read, I, cause I, you know, I follow, I follow you yeah. and I don't, I don't follow in the fan sense. I mm -hmm. follow to learn and to glean yeah. from. And one of the stories that you shared before is that you, um, you went up under Sean and you supported Sean as she yes. traveled and, and almost as her assistant. I was, yeah. What was that journey like? Oof. And I know that was a wealth of, was. of education. It was. <laughs> Um, it, I, I learned so much mm -hmm. traveling with Sean as her assistant. Mm -hmm. Um, just her humility yeah. was amazing to me. So sometimes I was just like, stop playing. <laughs> Why are you faking? Why? Why you? Do and it was it was honestly just who she who was. She, yeah, yeah, you know she was extremely humble mm -hmm. about everything, and mm -hmm. he just she was just extremely humble. But um, she taught me so much, and she mm -hmm. was so generous. I, when I first started, she would give me all this money just to carry her bag wow. up to her hotel room, and mm -hmm. I was just like, me, I'm a worker. Okay. I got that from my dad. Okay, and I've always um. 
enjoyed earning mm -hmm. what I got, mm -hmm. you know. So I st I didn't know what a, per a personal assistant did or mm -hmm. a road manager. I just started making up stuff, you know. Um, you giving me this money, let me let me feel like I'm getting something. Right. But she was extremely generous. I learned how to serve, like mm. literally serve and be. Mm -hmm. I was okay with that because I wanted nothing to do nothing with more. singing. Mm. So I was good with just serving her, mm -hmm. but in serving her, one of the directors of one of the shows she was doing was like, Hey, we need another character. We oh, need wow. somebody to fill uh, this role. Mm -hmm. And he was like, your sister's here helping you. Mm -hmm. Why don't we put her in the show? Can she sing? Mm -hmm. And Sean was like, of course, she's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how she did it. Of course, she's my sister. And um, <laughs> doors open, so many doors open yeah. from that from that alone. Mm -hmm. She is literally the reason why I'm doing shows to this Today. day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is and when did you get into acting? Because it didn't that, that come was shortly. It. That was then. That was the acting. Because she was. She was acting in the play. Oh, I you got know, you. Know, it was you. really popular back in the day, and even still now, mm -hmm. to have a gospel artist or a secular artist to be in your show. Okay. Because they're a great drawing card. Mm -hmm. So she was contracted to do this show, and it was with David Talbert. Yes. Uh, he did Jingle Jangle. Yes. <laughs> um, and David needed an extra missionary, wow. and he was like, "Can your sister do it?" So every show he did after that, he called me. So you were just natural born actress. Yeah, and, and I didn't, didn't even know, know it. <laughs> I did and that's 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 my that's part of my story is that mm -hmm. everything that I do now, mm -hmm. I didn't know I could do it. Wow. I was just faithful to one thing and then God exposed another talent mm -hmm. or another gift. Mm -hmm. So I was faithful to that and then he exposed something else. So mm -hmm. if Anybody is wondering what they're supposed to be doing. Be faithful to what you're doing right now. Yes. And out of the blue somewhere that that other talent or gift, it'll it'll form reveal it'll, itself. it'll reveal itself. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. I hadn't heard that one. That's yeah. story before. <laughs> that, so you, just as long as you've been singing professionally, you've been acting. Yes. Professionally. And if you don't mind, share some of the the acting opportunities that you've been graced with. Oh, wow. OK, it started out with uh, Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I've been changed. Sean mm -hmm. did the show with him. Mm -hmm. Amazing experience. Mm -hmm. uh, went on to David Talbert, mm -hmm. and I did a couple of his shows. I did a couple of Tyler shows as well. Mm -hmm. um, went on to do another show with Tyler Perry and Bishop Jakes. Yeah. Um, did a little mini TV series with Robert Townsend. Mm -hmm. um, went on to do some movies as extra work with Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for him to call me for a real role. <laughs> no, that's right. Not to say extra work isn't a real role. <laughs> right, because right. Because I'm grateful. You want to lead. I do. Yes. I do. That's understandable. Or even support, supportingly. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so uh, that and a lot of other movies, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's just been great. So how was that journey? Was it an easy journey? We've had some um, aspiring actors and actresses here on the show mm -hmm. who are just now getting into the, not just getting into, but breaking mm -hmm. into the industry. Um, what would be some encouraging words for people who are trying to get to the point where they can break in. Mm -hmm. I know for you, it sounds like it was natural. Yeah. Um, but once you broke through, what would, how would you encourage someone who's there new to it? Wow. And you're, you saying that, Oh, I promise I'm not going to get emotional, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm just so I'm filled with so much gratitude with yeah. everything God has allowed to come my way. Mm -hmm. And with you saying that it's interesting that somebody is looking and feeling like I've had my big break mm -hmm. and here I am sitting here thinking I can't wait till I get my big break. Wow. So I, I am so grateful and just taking a moment. God, I thank mm -hmm. you. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I would say keep going. Okay. I just had an audition yesterday mm -hmm. and every, it never fails. I don't, I've been doing auditions for years. Mm -hmm. Every audition you leave, even if you did a great job feeling mm -hmm. like, Oh, but when they I choose do. me, yeah. was I good enough? Yeah. Oh, I should have done this differently and I should have done that differently. And if mm -hmm. they don't call me, that means I'm not good. I'm just going to hang it up. <laughs> Forget it. I had to tell myself, and we just shared a little bit of this earlier. Yeah. I'm going to have to make a note to remind myself that God does have a plan yes. for my life. Yes. 
And because I trust him, Mm -hmm. I trust the plan. Mm -hmm. I trust the disappointments. Mm -hmm. I trust the triumphs. Mm -hmm. I trust the highs Mm -hmm. and I trust the lows. Because there's going to be both. Because there's going to be both. Mm -hmm. Nobody's exempt. Yes. We all going to have our moments of crying, of weeping and joy, all of that. Mm -hmm. Just keep going Mm -hmm. and trust God in knowing that he has a plan. Mm -hmm. If you get the part. It was his will. That's right. If you don't, he has something greater. Yes. Just yes. keep going. Yes. Be consistent. That's with anything. Mm-hmm. Just be consistent. I think that's the biggest. Yeah. Being consistent even when you've gotten five no's back to back. Yes. You still have to yes. be consistent. Yes. Trust. I understand. Yes. <laughs> and we all understand. We yeah. all understand that. So even uh, just a little bit more on on the acting, You. Ha- how has that helped you in other aspects mm-hmm. of, of your life. Because one thing I've learned, I'm beginning to be around more and more actors and actresses, and they're able to utilize some of the confidence mm-hmm. uh, that comes with it. Some of the, you know, just different, how has acting, I don't want to name things cause I'm not an actress, mm-hmm. but how has other areas of your life been impacted by the ability and from the, the um, benefits of being able to be an actress as far as the, mm-hmm. those type things, confidence. That's a that. great question because um, it all ties in mm-hmm. with with acting. It, 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 it enables you to um, be able to tell the story. Yeah. Draw your audience in. Yeah. Just like here. Right. Being able to tell the story and articulate it to mm-hmm. draw your audience in. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing when I get up on Sunday mornings to yes. worship. Yes. I'm not acting because I'm literally worshiping, mm-hmm. but I've taken time throughout the week to learn the song, mm-hmm. even get some, some scriptural context, mm-hmm. like in acting, you take your time and you learn the script mm-hmm. so you can understand the backstory. Mm-hmm. And when you understand the backstory of the script and you understand, uh, scriptural references to mm-hmm. a lyric, a worship lyric, mm-hmm. you're able to tell that story yes. from a personal place. Yes. From somewhere yes. like a, I I'm I'm telling y'all what I've experienced. Right. Or what I know. Mm-hmm. And that draws them in and people connect with that. They mm-hmm. feel that. Mm-hmm. Opposed to somebody just getting up there and haven't really taken the time right. to to put the homework in mm-hmm. to, mm-hmm. to kind of just uh, let me tell you what this lyric means. Right. And not so much in dialogue, but mm-hmm. just in an expression. Yes. Or yes. connecting with somebody in the audience. We as, as church singers so badly, we have, we have the habit of uh, closing our eyes. Mm-hmm. You're shutting people mm-hmm. out, mm-hmm. bring them in, connect mm-hmm. with them, let them, let them see your humanity. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, that was beautifully put. I couldn't put it any better. Um, We'd have to have a side note conversation yeah, off that's camera, okay. but that was beautifully put because yeah. I've heard where um, gospel singers and worship leaders will say, "Well, no, it's it's not an it's not an act. It, mm-hmm. You're just demonstrating, and you're better able to emote yeah. yes. what you are already and what you've already done spiritually." And they will, "Oh, it's not an yes. act. It's not a. I'm not acting. No, we're not saying that you're acting. We're right. stating that you've done your homework, absolutely, and you're using everything within you." Yes. To, to bring emote. to that moment. Yes. yes. And to draw people in. Yes. You hit the nail on the head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We're going to take a really quick break and we'll be back with Latrice Pace. We'll be right back. Welcome to Trisha's Treasures. This is where I share some of my favorite beloved products that I use on myself with you. And today I have the beloved blessed journal. What I decided for 2023 is that I was going to organize my life, not just my personal life, style with Trish life and work life and be more productive and be more organized in 2023. So while I was searching for journals, I found this particular journal on Facebook and I did my research and I found it to be probably the best in the market. Again, it's blessed journal. It comes with the affirmations. So if you need an encouraging word each morning, there's affirmations that are on here on the front and the back. Very encouraging. It also comes with an ink pen. I purchased this ink holder because I wanted to keep it with my journal on Amazon. And it also comes with stickers that you can use um, on your calendar, 
uh, to, for inspiration. It tells you to love yourself. It's just really, really an inspiring journal. It also has uh, words in scripture for you uh, to read if that's something that you want to keep up with. As you see, I have tabs in here uh, for notes and things that I need to remember, but this is just a perfect gift or personal item for you to be able to stay on task and to reach those goals. As we always say here on Style with Trish, we want to be able to always pursue our dreams. And this is a tool that will help you on the path to pursuing your dreams. The beloved blessed journal. It is an absolute Trish treasure. Every day a woman we're back here on Style with Trish with today's guest, Latrice Pace, continuing our, our conversation on great conversation. We about to have church on, on the other side of this, <laughs> but um, continue our, our uh, conversation. I wanted to really touch on um, one of the when I first started following you, you were going through and sharing your weight loss. And I love how you share that side of you. You show yourself in the gym. You just recently taught yourself or learned how to swim. swim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but when I first jumped on the Latrice uh, wagon, you were going, uh, starting your journey in weight loss and you yes. wrote a song and you released that song. And it was very encouraging. It's very encouraging on the weight loss end, but it's just overall yeah. very encouraging. Yeah. Kind of share a little bit of how you're able to be so open um, with, people that follow you in that aspect? Oh, that's another good question. <laughs> um, I think, I believe it started when, um, as a PK. Okay. Because as a PK, you fall, if you're not careful, you'll fall under the same pressure as celebrities mm. fall under. Yeah. Um, and you, you get caught in this cycle of pretending, mm -hmm. um, and not really being who you really are, mm -hmm. are being your authentic self. Right. Um, so I think I always wanted to, I remember <laughs> coming in the house one day and mother was like, sister, so and so, so and so said she saw you here. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> did I do something wrong? <laughs> you know, people are always reporting watching. on you yeah. and always watching. Yeah. And so even as an influencer or a celebrity, mm -hmm. people are always watching and they mm -hmm. have this expectation. Mm -hmm. So I always said, I'm never falling under that pressure mm -hmm. of having what somebody think I should have. Right. Of being what somebody think I should be or dressing a way somebody mm -hmm. think I should dress or having a design or whatever because you think I should have designer. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm who I am. Yeah. If I go to racetrack tomorrow and pull out a bag of change, mm -hmm. that's my business. <laughs> right. And I'm not trying to hide from nobody because that's my business. Right. You know, I am that's who I am. Yeah. So I just, I wanted to show the people not just me on the stage, mm -hmm. but me just struggling to get up to mm -hmm. go to this gym. Mm -hmm. Even though I know it's good for me, it's not pleasurable. Ooh, it sure isn't. You know, it, it, I want to show you me trying to decide, am I going to go home and eat this grilled chicken and broccoli <laughs> or am I going to go through Chick-fil-A? <laughs> right. Like, it's the real struggle yes, because it in social media, people paint these unrealistic expectations and these unrealistic pictures mm -hmm. is, and it's, I'm, I'm never going to do that to yeah. people. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be who I am. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've been so open or so okay with sharing my journey mm -hmm. because I'm going to be real. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I ain't going to lie about nothing because <laughs> that's too much to keep up with. And it makes it so cute because I think it's, it's a wonderful thing to continue to live. You know, they always say, Oh, your thirties, your forties, your fifties. Well, as long as you've been graced to have breath yes. in your body. It's never too late. Y'all know my saying, it's never too late to pursue never. your dream. And one of the things that you wanted to do was to swim. And so yes. that was something that you maintained that you were going to do and did and yes. accomplish. Are you still doing it? Or have you completed it? I am it? still doing it. Okay. And what happened with that was literally the, mm -hmm. the weekend after my 50th birthday party, mm -hmm. my body was like, boom, 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 boom. Wow. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what is going on? You know, <laughs> right. I was out with, on a, on a gig with Donald Lawrence and I hadn't mm -hmm. really even shared this with people. And, uh, we, we were coming off stage and everybody was waiting on the elevator. Mm -hmm. So it was nothing for me to be like, 
oh, I'll just take the steps. Oh, okay. So I took off, went running up the steps and hit the floor. Oh, no. I could not walk to the dressing room. I could not walk back to my hotel room. I could not walk through the airport the next day. Wow. I had to have assistance. Got to the doctor and something was going on with the bones in my knees mm. and it adjusted things. So he was like, uh, you on, I need you to rest. Mm -hmm. No more orange theory. Mm -hmm. Nothing with squats, no lunges. Oh, wow. Um, maybe swimming and mm -hmm. therapy and okay. after physical therapy, we'll see. So it's never too late. You just have to be willing mm -hmm. to put in the work to figure out what adjustments I need to make. Yeah. How can I do the same thing that I've been doing, but a different way? Right. So right. that's why I started swimming. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, you just never know. Like you said, the thing that I'm taking away from you from, from your interview is always what I'm in my own words is being yeah. sensitive to the voice of God. Yes. So when you're doing something, he's given us hints. Yes. And All sometimes if we don't listen to the hint, then he's doing this. Yep. If we don't listen to that, yes. then he's gonna do something else. <laughs> yes. As but as long as we listen, I'm trying to yeah. listen to the voice. <laughs> right. Like you don't you don't have to hurt me. <laughs> right. So yes. that's amazing. That is an amazing story. And then, of course, your journey. I love the journey that you show you showed with and shared with your mom and taking care and being your mom's caregiver. Yeah. Um, as I stated off offset, we are at the age now where that's a reality for us. We it have to is. care for our aging parents. And the fact that you were sharing that I know even yeah. for people who I work with that also followed you who are actually in the same situation. They said, I would look forward to that encounter because when I got home and, and was caring for my elderly parent, it made it easier. Yeah. And so wow. I don't feel, I didn't feel like I was alone. That was the term yes. that they used. And so that was a blessing. And how much was it a blessing for you? As I'm sure it was Ooh, a great one. It was a great blessing. Yeah. I, if I could do it all over again, wow. I would do it all over yeah. again Yeah. because those were really some of the most, um, best days of my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just being there. Uh, we growing up and, and as a, PK, mm -hmm. we didn't have the best relationship. Oh, wow. Because oh, yeah. it was always the, you can't do this, can't do yeah. that, can't do, can't. It was, it was a, a life full of can't do. Yeah. So my thing was, it doesn't make sense. I don't, God don't want us in this much bondage mm -hmm. or this fat or whatever. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we spent most of our lives proving um, for her. I think it was proving that you, 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 um, you, uh, no, so for me, it was more of a, I can prove I can have all of this freedom and yes. still be in Christ. Right. And for her, it was, no, you need to come away from all of that. Mm -hmm. So we were always bumping heads, mm -hmm. even though there was a mutual love and respect. Right. Right. In her latter years, it was like none of that. It didn't even matter. We put, <laughs> we put it all to the side. Right. And those two to three years were the most healing for the both of us, mm -hmm. uh, the most cherishing, mm -hmm. the, the greatest bond ever, mm -hmm. uh, very purpose filled. Yeah. 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 And you can tell, and she, I said, that woman has some beautiful kids. Every yes. single one of y'all. <laughs> oh, thank said, you. She has some beautiful kids. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, she was a powerhouse and you could tell what type of parentage you all were blessed yeah. with because of, the offspring yes. and, and everyone was, I met, I was able uh, to meet Sean yeah. once before and just beautiful person. I just told her, I see you so pretty. I can yes. slap you. Yes. <laughs> just yes. Beautiful yes, she and, on the inside and outside. Yes. So now let's get to Tracy treats. Yes. <laughs> that is something that I love that you're doing. How did, were you always a baker? Is this a newfound Girl, thing? How did that come about? I was not a baker. <laughs> it happened in 2011 when my cousin was, um, she has a company where she, uh, does parties mm -hmm. and she style people and she does home de decor or whatever. I know what cousin you talk oh, about. Oh, Anita. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my girl. Okay. That's, <laughs> That's right. Cause you know, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my cousin Anita. Okay. And she was like, Hey, uh, can you do some cupcakes with me for my party? I was mm -hmm. like, sure. Okay, fine. <laughs> Um, also at the time I was married, so I would do cupcakes for like his office okay, parties or okay. whatever. So it was just a little on the side stuff. Right. <laughs> and my sister Nisi had given me her recipe, her red okay. velvet recipe. So I did the cupcakes mm -hmm. and everybody at the party was tripping. Wow. They were like, oh my God, girl, this is amazing. <laughs> 
you need to do this for real. Like, mm-hmm. and and then one girl said, you need to do this for real. I was like, what? <laughs> and then another girl said, yeah, and name it Treacy Treats. Wow, and named it for you. Yes, I was like, child, y'all buy. I'm, whatever, I'm on the road traveling. And um, I started thinking about that thing. Yeah. And I did it, mm-hmm. and it just started taking off. Mm-hmm. It was like a huge success. Ended up having to stop because tours were going back yeah. to back. Yeah. And starting it back up now at 50, because mm-hmm. at 50, you're thinking differently. Yeah. Like, okay, I've helped others Get wealthy. Yeah. What, what am I doing do for, for mine? Our... Come on now. What am I doing for myself? <laughs> Come on. Yes. So, yeah. That is, I lo- and we're going to definitely try. I'm like, right now, I'm yes. on a. I'm about to start too. So, okay. I get it. <laughs> I, I'm not even hating. <laughs> I support right. that. That's why I ask people, like, are you doing anything? Because right. I'm not trying to derail anybody. Right, right. I know the struggle. But I'm coming that way. Trust. I got you. I got okay. you. <laughs> but so, uh, we have a few minutes left. I really want to, um, I don't want to go off air without you really just kind of sharing and encouraging and inspiring our viewers um, in the way of living out your dreams. You know, don't live, don't leave here empty. Yes. We have, there's so many different faucets to us. Yes. We're not just one track. No, God didn't just give us one gift. He's given us many. Yes. So encourage our viewers um, in a way that you can on, um, how they can do it, how the grace of balance will be there, yes. but just step out on faith. Yes. Um, people often ask, uh, who is Latrice? Mm-hmm. And I can never define myself. Mm. So I often say I'm a creative being. Wow. We are all creative beings. Yes. Because if I box myself into being an actress, then what does that say about the singing aspect of me right. or the baking aspect of me or mm-hmm. if it, the Ubering aspect mm-hmm. of me? Well, all of that mm-hmm. is a part of me expressing the creativity that the creator has given me. Mm-hmm. So what I what I say to people, don't box yourself with this is what I do. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm doing right now. Right. But I'm just a creative being. Right. I like saying that. Um do whatever is in you to do mm-hmm. at the level that you can come, do it. Come on now. If it's $25 worth mm-hmm. of that level, mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. My nephew asked me this morning, he said, I want a robot. Can somebody buy me a robot? I said, no, but you can build your own. Come on. I can, I don't have the materials to build, uh, build my own. I said, well, there's something you can do right now to mm-hmm. get started on that robot because he's a great, uh, he sketched really well. Mm-hmm. I said, start sketching the robot. Mm-hmm. That's the capacity mm-hmm. to what you can do now. And if you're faithful. Yeah to the sketch, yeah. then God will bring somebody to make the investment. Yeah. So whatever you're doing, do what you can. Stop waiting. I hate that mm-hmm. one day I'm going to. Mm-hmm. One day I'm going to. Mm-hmm. I do not like that. Mm-hmm. Do what you can right now. Mm-hmm. And as more come in, add to it. Yes. Until before you know it, oh, this is it's what developed. I want to do all along. Yes. yes. So don't limit yourself to finances. Mm-hmm. Do not. Mm-hmm. We do that so often. We do. When I get enough money, I'm going to go on a trip. When mm-hmm. I get enough, and we will never have mm-hmm. enough. So just do what you can now. Mm-hmm. And as you can add on to it, mm-hmm. I mean, if it's $5 worth, mm-hmm. there's there's something. If you want to start your own cupcake company, mm-hmm. get on the computer. There are d- dummy, dummy logos <laughs> yes. that you can, you can download. And go to Kinko's yeah. and get you five dollars worth of stickers. Yeah. Made. Yeah. There's something you can be doing to mm-hmm. store your time well mm-hmm. until more comes mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. And that's what I meant about when God, when you're faithful mm-hmm. to that little thing, mm-hmm. we think about, uh, um, other, uh, we, th- we think, we don't think it applies to everything, but when you're faithful, to the gift that God has given you mm-hmm. and just operating in the minimal capacity that you're able to right now, mm-hmm. he will make you ruler over, give you it. more. Yes. Then, okay. You are faithful to that. I can give you more. Mm-hmm. You trusted me with that $15. Mm-hmm. Here's 50. Mm-hmm. And then here's somebody else to say, I see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I want to sell $250. Now mm-hmm. don't go to golden corral and eat it up. Right. Put it towards that Be vision. With, yes. Yes. That's, that's all. Just yes. do what you can mm-hmm. with what, you have mm-hmm. and quit the excuses. Yes. No, one day I'm gonna yes. when I get enough of this because that's speaking from a place of lack. Yeah. 
Yeah. When you speak from a place of lack, you attract more lack. Mm-hmm. So don't speak for when I get mm-hmm. or one day I'm going to, oh, I wish I had. Mm-hmm. No, God, I thank you for this $5. Mm-hmm. Give me the wisdom as to, to how to put it. it. Yeah, Come on now. You, yeah. I got chills from that. I yeah. don't know about y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I really enjoyed this interview. Me I really too. did in this time um, to be that I can just sit back and take notes and, and really learn um, and glean from you in person because I'm gleaning from you thank online. You. So please keep doing what you're doing. Oh, you are an encouragement. You. you are a blessing blessing to so many more than you know you. um you are a blessing but guys i know you enjoyed latrice pace she's <laughs> on you. uh social media so reach out to her we have the information uh to share if you want to order some tracy treats yes. are you uh statewide do you ship statewide uh, well just locally locally not, we're not shipping yet okay i don't know when it's okay so if yet. you're in the atlanta area <laughs> yes. atlanta metro area yes she is available to you. We will make our orders and we will go online and brag to the rest of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. Because <laughs> that's our business. <laughs> exactly. But I had such a good time, guys. This has been Latrice Pace once again. I, As you can tell, I'm overjoyed that I've had her here on the show. But we will take a break and we'll be right back. Hi guys, it's Dr. Cassandra Evans, affectionately known as Dr. San, and this is your segment of Let's Learn Love. Hi guys, it's Dr. San with Let's Learn Love, and I'm here to bring your segment for today. We're talking about encouraging small businesses through these hard times. And of course, I understand what you're going through because I too am a small business, but there's some things that you can do to kind of help you mentally get through these tough times. One of those things I will always say and I tell my clients is that you should breathe, meditate and pray. Breathing, meditating and praying does a lot for your centering in this crazy world. You know, we sometimes need to feel like that uh, we're in control of our lives and that helps us do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a moment. We're going to breathe in and breathe out and we're going to hold the breath in on the second one and then let it out. Usually what I will recommend is that you hold it for a count of five. What that does is that helps regulate your breathing because sometimes we get anxiety and we get revved up. And so this is a way to bring us back down. Another thing that goes on with that is the meditation part. Now, if you don't believe in meditation, that's fine, but take a moment for yourself where it's quiet, where you can have a moment to think and where you can gather your thoughts. Um, this may be whether you're gathering your thoughts about today. It might be what you need to do for tomorrow. But when you take that moment and have quiet, it lets you know that you can plan for the future. And then praying. Of course, um, I am a prayer, but some people aren't, of course. But even if you're not into prayer, what I would recommend you doing is just extending your meditation. So with that, we're also going to do something else. We also want to make sure that we research. Sometimes we feel like in these trying times that we're not doing enough. So what we have to do is research and research people that do things similar to you to get some ideas. Maybe they're doing something a little bit different. Maybe they're doing something that you are interested in and you can put your own spin on it. So the last thing I will say a small business can do in these trying times is just keep going. Sometimes it seems like you're in a, a island by yourself, but you're of course you're not. So what you would want to do is just keep going, keep finding your purpose and your why. Tell me what you think. Let me know and contact me as soon as you can so I can understand what you're thinking. So with that, this is Let's Learn Love and I am Dr. Sam with your segment for today. Hi, my name is Trish Stanley and I'm the host of Style with Trish. Be sure to check our show out on every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our new network, VTV Network. All you have to do is download the free app and you can view our show on Amazon Prime, Roku, Apple TV, as well as Android. Be sure to check out all things Trish at TrishStanley.com. Remember, this is the place where the everyday woman reigns. Everyday woman reigns. Every day a woman 
I'd like to thank my guest today, Latrice Pace. It was amazing sitting down with her. I've learned so much, so many nuggets I'm going to take and apply to my life. But one of the things that I enjoyed about her the most is that she shared and was authentic with even at her level now, she struggles with confidence level and, and, and being reminded that it's not about her, it's about God's plan. And as long as God is true to who he is and what he does, no matter the outcome, whether it's yay or nay, it's still within his plan. I love that. I apply it and I ask that you apply it to your lives. As always, thank you for tuning in and remember that love isn't love unless you give it away. Give some love away today.